Here's a question for you. What does a nuclear bomb actually sound like? And this question isn't actually as easy as you'd think to answer. A lot of people think they know what they sound like because of movies and TV shows that show nuclear tests. And the usual, you know, sound they show is this low rumbling explosion sound that gets bigger and louder before it hits and then it's, you know, theatrical. But this actually isn't what they sound like at all. You see, in most movies, and uh, even actually test footage, the sound they put in isn't indicative of a nuclear bomb, it's mostly just there for, you know, flare. Because with actual nuclear tests, a lot of the audio doesn't exist anymore. Uh, either due to poor quality, or they never recorded it in the first place, a lot of the actual audio is is lost, like we don't have it anymore. But some of it does exist, if you look hard enough you can find it. Uh, I had to look pretty hard to find um, this one video I'm going to show you here in a minute, that actually does show the audio. I actually have YouTube user the Vino 3 to thank for it. They did two videos where they tried to do reconstructions of the actual audio of a nuclear test. And in one of the videos, they showed the act like they had the actual audio of the original test, and then they um, did a second part of it where they actually reconstructed it to make it sound more like you know what you'd actually hear if you were standing there, because the audio isn't terribly good quality. If you want to see that, I recommend checking out the video. It's actually kind of cool because it has a side by side of the original plus the reconstruction. The research is actually really good. Anyways, let's take a look and see what an actual nuclear bomb sounds like from original audio. It's actually pretty surprising when you hear it for the first time, because it doesn't sound anything like you'd expect. And again, this is mostly due to movies and TV shows, because even in documentaries when they show nuclear tests, they have to dub over um, sounds, like sound effects for them, because the original audio largely doesn't exist. So it's just kind of cool. Uh, this was a shorter video, I just thought it was an interesting thing to talk about and to show. Now the reason they sound like that is actually because of their construction. You see, a nuclear bomb isn't some ultra-fancy, super-secret type of weapon that uses super science to make big explosions. It kind of is, but not quite. Actually, in reality, it's a conventional explosive that compresses fission material into criticality. Uh, in a gun-type bomb, like the one used over Hiroshima, that one used a hollow cylinder that was then shot into a uh, smaller cylinder that fit perfectly into it, and that created the criticality, and boom. Uh, for the Nagasaki and all subsequent bombs, they used an implosion device where you had a whole bunch of uh, high explosives which would compress down a hollow sphere of plutonium, creating criticality. Uh, hydrogen bombs, um, they're a bit more complicated, but they, you know, they use the same principle. They use a chemical explosive which compresses, a, you know, usually a plutonium pit, which creates a uh, fission explosion. And in that brief millisecond when that happens, the X-rays then create a fusion reaction in a secondary uh, core. So. With both nuclear types of nuclear weapons, in the end, it'll always sound like a loud bang and usually a loud rumble from just, like, movement of air, convection, or material being brought up. So, it's just kind of cool. Anyways, I can go out into length about how nuclear weapons, like, work, but I decided to do a quick little video on how they sound like because it's something I was thinking about and it's actually a surprisingly interesting topic. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed.